Hello, welcome to Puzzle Master. Today I'm going to be showing you the solution for the Hanayama Ultra Guard Puzzle. Which means I'm going to show you the easiest way to separate those five pieces from the Ultra Guard puzzle and then how you can do the opposite to put it back into its original position. Now the Ultra Guard puzzle is a level 4 out of 6 on the Hanayama difficulty scale and a level 8 out of 10 on the Puzzle Master difficulty scale. If you haven't already got the Ultra Guard puzzle for yourself then you can pick it up from our website puzzlemaster.ca and without further ado let's get on with the solution. Okay, so here we have a fully assembled Ultra Guard puzzle. Now to solve this one, the first thing we need to do is get these or this top shell piece orientated in the right position. And the way we do that is by flipping it upside down, identifying on which handle the, there is the, the Hanayama engraving. And we're going to have that or that arm in this top right position here. The next thing we need to do is identify one of these three pieces. Luckily, they are sort of the makeup of map, so we can identify it nice and easily. You've got one piece that is sort of mainly what must be water, because that's just got the lines on it. You've got this piece here, which is mostly land, and then this piece here, which is sort of half land, half water, because of the lines that you can see. And what we want is the half and half piece in sort of this top third position here. So. Using this line as sort of coming straight down is, is probably the, the easiest way to identify it. And now what we know is that within a few millimeters, we're not going to be exactly right, that this piece is now lined up in the correct position relative to these three. However, this piece down here, the bottom one that turns, uh, isn't. So our next job is to try and keep these three pieces still relative to this top bit whilst turn in the bottom piece and what we're looking for is for that this piece here to drop straight down and if we get to a position where we've where we've turned it more than 360 degrees then we're probably just not quite right on this top position but what we're going to do this cut this is the hardest part of actually solving the puzzle it's it can take a lot of I guess trial and error of trying different positions and essentially trying to to crack it like a safe. But once you are in the right position, this piece will just drop straight down and you'll see that in a second when I manage to get it lined up. There. So that took a bit longer than I expected, but again that's the hardest part of the uh, of the actual puzzle done now. Once that happens you need to immediately clamp down on the two shell pieces because we now know that these two pieces are in the right position or the gaps are in the right position and we're going to use that to our advantage. So now once we've clamped down on this on these two pieces you can now see that that bottom piece that's hanging out is here. We're going to use that as a handle and to rotate it anti-clockwise to this position where you'll see the next piece drop down and that's the piece that has all the lines on it and if you're in exactly the right position that will actually drop down to a second layer like that so that's probably a little bit tough to see from this angle but this piece here is in the original position this piece here has dropped down one level and this piece here has dropped down two levels which is good because now we can actually get out that piece that's just dropped down to a second level. So what we're going to do is again we're going to use the bottom because it's easy to grab these sort of as handles and we're going to turn that bottom piece underneath this piece here into this position here. And what that does is when we get it in the right position, that piece then drops straight out the bottom. And that is that piece separated. And the, and the rest is pretty much well, much easier to do now because we can actually see where the gaps are in this shell piece and this bottom shell piece. And what we can do is now line up these other two pieces. This bit's relatively easy. I'm going to do it in a bit more of a structured way rather than just taking them apart. But here we can now get this bit out of the way and take the second piece out and then these three pieces can essentially just all 
all come apart together. And that is how we disassemble the Ultra Guard puzzle. And for reassembling the Ultra Guard puzzle, the, the easy part is first of all lining up these two shell pieces in a way where the gaps on both are in the same position. Uh, the only thing you need to make sure is that you've got it the right way around for the, uh, for the bottom pieces. The, where the gaps are should be in the middle of the puzzle rather than at each side. And then what's important is the order to reassemble the, the map, if you like, that's on the actual cylinders. So we're going to start by placing the piece that has pretty much all land on the map. We're going to place it exactly where it's going to stay relative to height. So it's going to be flush with the top and the bottom of the, uh, of the shell pieces. Next, we're going to put in the, the piece out of the three of them that apart from the actual top bit for the map is the only bit that is different. And that is this piece that has the little slit that's, uh, that's in the top. What we're going to do is we're going to put that straight up to sort of like the second or the, the first level down. We're going to turn that around into this position. So that now we have the room to put this piece back in. So now, the easiest way to do this now is to hold that bottom piece in, just in here. And then instead of turning that anti-clockwise, we're going to put turn these two pieces clockwise. And what that allows us to do is then go straight up to the top with that piece. And the final thing we can do is that because we know that we've got these clamped together still, and we know where the gap is, we're simply going to rotate the final piece around to where those gaps are. And we can then push it back up to its original level. We can then turn all the pieces and lock it in place. And that is how we reassemble the Ultra Guard puzzle. So there it is. That is how you disassemble the Ultra Guard puzzle and then reassemble it back into its original position. The hardest part with this is the initial sort of lining up of the two shell pieces with the three pieces and figuring out which one of the three is the is the right one to fall down first. But hopefully this has helped you solve the Ultra Guard puzzle for yourself. If you want to pick up more puzzles just like the Ultra Guard puzzle, then check out our website puzzlemaster.ca where we have the biggest variety of puzzles on the internet in the world. And until next time, I'll see you later.